Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions, and today we're going to be doing some basic signal routing in Studio One. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions, and today we're going to be looking at how to do some basic signal routing in Studio One um, using buses. Uh, basically, the um, the situation that I have right now is I have this um, this Drake filter automation, this low pass filter that I got going on over the intro of my track, and um, I want to go ahead and put my and put my beat tag in the track, but um, at the current point, at the current moment in time, the tag is being filtered, so it sounds like this. Craft Master Production. You know, and I want to be able to hear, um, you know, the the whole tag. I don't want the tag to be muffled, but I need everything else to be muffled. Um, and the way that I set that up is, I have a a production template that I use. That is, um, if you follow this annotation here, you'll be able to go find it. And, um, you know, I have, I have these buses for effects and then I have these buses that I use to, that I use to route, um, my instruments on the filter bus. I have a pro EQ set up that's automating this filter. Craft master production, lighting up the industry, spit on it. Uh and basically everything in my in my session right now is being routed to this to this filter bus channel you know my sends and everything that goes to the drum and the and the band bus is going to this filter bus i and now if you see here i have i have a filter bus and a filter bypass and those are being sent to the main mix bus which is then goes to the main fader now a little bit about the makeup of the studio one um mixer if you look at your at, at your fader strips inside the mixer view or if you press i to pull up your inspector it'll say something up here and something down here this is your input okay so it's this is where this word right here this is where this channel is getting the sound from this channel is getting its sound from sample one down here, that's your output. So imagine that this channel is being routed, you know, via a virtual cable into this channel. And that's how the routing in Studio One works. It's actually one of my favorite things about the program. It's really easy. So what I need to do is I need to find the track that I want to route on a different channel than the filter bus, okay? So all I have to do click on it it's highlighted in the mixer and I can either change it here and send it to the filter bypass or you can do it in the inspector just by clicking on it and send it to the filter bypass now let's listen to what we have this is a craft master production craft master production craft master productions lighting up the industry spit on it oh. exclusive And that's it. Signal routing in Studio One is as simple as that. So all you got to do is create a bus. And once you create a bus, for example, we'll make one here. Um, add a bus channel. Call it new bus. Okay. And say I wanted to send this tag to the new bus. There it is, the new bus. And I want to send the new bus to the filter bypass. Same effect. This is a craft master production. Craft master production. Craft master productions. Lighting up the industry. Spit on it. Oh. Exclusive. Nothing to it but that. So anyway, if this video helped you out, um, give me a like, 
subscribe, drop me a comment. Let me know what other videos you guys would like to see. Thanks for watching. This is Concrete Zebu with Craftmaster Productions.